What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and I was the latest gladiator in the arena. So, if you didn't know, the new community manager, Atmaz, has been organizing uh, some cool things in general chat and around scrolls uh, since he became community manager. And one of them is this cool little gladiator kind of thing where he um, where he takes a a very high rated player. Um, in this case, it needs to be somebody over 1700, so I volunteered. And in the past, it's been like Color Plant, Blinky, Anti Rad. And what we do is uh, we're forced to play one of the pre constructed decks, and then uh, we take on cha a challenge from somebody rated below 1300. And um, then we play with that pre constructed deck until we lose. So it's a fun way to get uh, lesser ranked players involved. And it it was pretty cool because on these matches you see like the next one I think gets um I think like uh, almost 20 spectators so they definitely uh, get some nice interest from the community and I was I played the growth precon as you can see um, I had a very strong start with a double brave the growth the growth precon I think is probably the strongest precon so I guess I was lucky enough to use that when like um, color plant blinky at uh, what color plant blinky anti rad you know they didn't get to use those and um, actually the only other person the only person to ever win in the arena I guess was uh, color plant who won one match with an energy uh, with the energy pre construction deck sorry about the garage making some noise here and um, then also the next match. And here, uh, I thought I could I could probably win a couple games, I thought, because um, the growth deck is pretty strong, and I got a pretty good start this match. I am a little bit uh, scared about, like, all of this stuff, but I was able to top deck, like, a veteran here and a sister the bear for protection. So it's definitely... The draws are not really going against me. So I'm able to... Just make sure you can't take down the middle idol. Some of these uh, matches, because you're because you have to face somebody uh, under 1300 rating. Sometimes, like the player is not really a very uh, understanding rules player. Like they don't really know a lot of the stuff. But uh, the the guys I faced though uh, were were pretty competent players. Um, didn't see too many uh, odd plays or anything. And here, just having these Braves attacking every turn really uh, helped me a lot. He's able to take down my Great Wolf because of that Ancestral Totem. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of just uh, hoping I can just keep bashing through his units. I have these games going fast right now because I don't really want to, want to bore you guys with a long, a long pre-recorded thing. I just wanted to kind of get this video out there to, to make people aware that some cool things are going on right now in like uh, general chat. You could see like if you saw um, what it said was like uh, um, in the general chat, just like it came up with like a universal message that said uh, the first player to challenge NRP123 um, gets to uh, with 1300 uh, rating or less gets to fight him and he'll play until he loses. And also, I forgot to say the the reward if you for the person who wins gets to choose a pre-constructed deck that like Atman's gives to them. So it's a cool way for the newer players to get a deck that they don't have gold for. And um, here, I think was I able to win this turn. Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. Just get another. So just about yeah, the growth precon is not too shabby, and uh, kind of lost a train of thought. I was gonna say something. Um, the uh, oh yeah, so the other things that are going on like drum chest sometimes, they have um, scroll scavenger hunts now and then. Uh, the universal chat just like says scavenger hunt time. It gives like a riddle, and then. The answer to the riddle is a scroll, and the first person to guess the answer uh, gets a tier three scroll of that scroll. 
So, for example, I think the last one I saw was like Lachlan Brood. So, like the the chat room said, um, like we are in a huddle, but be aware we do not cuddle. And like a minute later, somebody uh, was able to guess Lachlan Brood, and to guess it, you have to go to you have to go in the bottom left where it says join room, and you have to type in the scroll's name. So you just type in like Lachlan Brood, for example, and you go to the Lachlan Brood chat room, and then just send any message, just like hi or something. And if you're the first ones to do that, you uh, Atmaz gives you a, a tier three locking brood. So those are pretty cool as well. And there's little things like that uh, stay on the lookout for in um, if you're sitting around waiting for a match along queue times, you might see one of those things go on. You might be able to participate. So here uh, I'm just yeah. You see, this is the pre-constructed deck, even though I have I have a lot of tier tier three scrolls in here. It is the pre-constructed deck. I did a lot of crafting the other day. I think um, I think I have over 220 tier three scrolls. Um, you see that answer stone is game. So now um, I got one win. So now me and Color Pen are only people to have multiple to have uh, to actually win in the arena because it's pretty hard to win with a pre-constructed deck. But growth the growth one isn't too bad. So that wasn't too bad for me. And this next guy. Is the next challenger in the arena he goes first and uh, i think i will again this end so what i was saying yeah i went for a, i did a huge crafting spree the other day um you need some time to do that because it's pretty boring it takes a while but now i think i'm about like 220 tier 3 scrolls might sound like a lot because yes it is a lot each tier 3 scroll is nine scrolls of the same but it's not really that close to a tier 3 set because what i need so there are 360 scrolls right now and I want three of every scroll tier three, so that's three times three sixty is ten eighty. So about two twenty over ten eighty is about like a fifth. So yeah, so I'm about like twenty percent to a tier three set, which is really not that close. I think the closest person probably is like Blinky. But I do have a lot of gold. I have three. I have over three hundred thousand gold now, and a lot of scrolls. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with it all. Um, here, I you see, I got a pretty good start. I was able to go into go into uh, the the Rangers man to get rid of his brave, and then I got some units on the board of my own. And then look at my hand; it's pretty good as well because I can go with a four drop and a five drop. So he gets veteran, but a little peculiar play, just like playing down there. Um, I guess he really didn't have another place. I just wanted to get the creature out. When you're not using the veteran for its haste ability, it's always like a little questionable. But that didn't seem too bad. And I'm like uh, deciding what to do here. I have an astral totem, and I see what I do. I wish I had one more resource so I can bind me with the brave and astral and, and and ancestral totem in the same turn. But whatever. You can see this growth. This growth construction deck has like not too many bad scrolls like uh of the pre construction i probably rank them growth is the best of the four i'm not talking about the ones you can buy on the, the, the store like the ones of the champions like catch new rise of the Urhal, those things i'm talking about the the ones for the faction that you get uh from buying the game and stuff like that like the growth one i think is the best second best because just i think growth just the growth one just has like strong creatures like look at my hand right now it's a kindle banner and has like great wolf has Braves. So second best, I'd probably say Order, and then Energy, and then Decay. Um, if you didn't know, a while ago in my Ranked Match series, uh, I did play with the pre-constructed decks in Ranked on my alternate account, and I did okay with them in Ranked. I was able to win uh, a lot with the Growth one and the Order one, so that's, that's basically why I said that I think those two are better than the other two. So, I, don't know, I think uh, I think the energy and the decay ones might get some improvements. I don't know. So he gets a crimson bowl there, which hurts me a little bit. And you see this coming turn. Um, I'm a little bit stuck here because I'm facing down a brave and I can't really destroy it. I'm hoping to draw like a, just a ragged wolf because the answer sudden would give it two attack. So um, I think I get rid of the binding root. Um, and hoping to just draw a Ragged Wolf, and you'll see what I draw. It's 
coming this term is pretty important underdog spite and underdog spite is like a fury for all all units that all creatures that you control two attack or less and i'm thinking oh i could haste the brave it has two attack nope the brave has three attack because of the ancestral totem so i tried to haste the brave and destroy the uh destroy his brave but it backfires my ancestral totem backfires on me and turns out um uh, me the gladiator uh actually um made a pretty crucial mistake and uh that didn't work uh so that was pretty darn uh, crucial in this match, as you can see what he draws right now, which kind of seals my fate. He goes for a Kinfolk Veteran, which takes them out. And I know I'm pretty much uh, clobbered here. So, yeah. He's drawing enchantments. And I'm just hoping I can somehow hold on, but I realize it's not going to be much of a chance. Yeah, Beast Rat is like one of the only bad scrolls in the Growth Preconstruction deck. Like I thought it was gonna be filled with like bad enchantments, like like uh, Vitriol Aura and stuff like that. But it really, it's it's kind of good. It could pass as like an aggro growth deck if you get the right draws. It almost looks like an aggro growth deck, aggro growth deck too. And um, he gets great with that. And also, what the what the growth program has is a kinfolk yarl, so I, I get to effectively use his inspiring. But fortunately for me, um, my opponent had a, what was it? Was it um was it a rally or a major? I think it was major wolf to get rid of it. So yeah, seventeen spectators. So it's pretty cool that. Once these things get get announced in chat, like a lot of people come in and get to, it gets kind of exciting. So I, I I enjoy doing it, and I hope to do it again. So and um, yeah, so the, I'm pretty sure the whole spectate chat like just like exploded when I made that huge misplay. So uh, I guess that's it. He's gonna win with a god hand here, and thank you for watching. So like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this. Um, and make sure you uh, look out in General 1 for stuff like this, Scavenger Hunt and stuff like this, and you guys can participate. So I will see you all next time.